Well, good morning, traders. I've seen a little bit of de-risking, deleveraging playing through. People have been buying volatility, and specifically around what we've been seeing in, in what's been really, really super hot, that being momentum and high growth. As a factor, that's worked incredibly well since March, and there's probably a little bit too much froth in that, and we can tell by just the reversals we've been seeing in the market there. You know, the Nasdaq was off 4.2% from its earlier highs to close down 2.2%. If you look at the Nasdaq on the daily, you can see this pretty, pretty punchy bullish, uh, sorry, bearish outside day reversal playing through. So obviously watching for follow through to confirm that, and potentially we could see a, a maybe move to 3 to 5% to the downside. That certainly raised the probability that that could happen. Uh, we've seen big buying of Nasdaq implied vol. If you look at the VXN, which is the, the Nasdaq VIX effectively, you know, it's pushed into 37%. I think if you get break of 40%, that could be quite interesting. Uh, the VIX itself for the S&P implied volatility over the coming 30 days has pushed into 32%. So that's up over five vols. And if you look at the sort of the, the breakdown there, you can see big demand there for one month uh, put volatility playing through. So people obviously a propensity for a bigger or punchy downside move playing through relative to calls. So one to watch, and certainly, you know, value has probably been better bid relative to what we've been seeing in growth. Uh, if you have a look at the news flow, it's really been about what we've been seeing in, in California as the state. You know, we've been seeing the two big schooling districts, San Diego and also L.A., saying that they're going to move to more um, online learning as we go into the fall. Uh, we've been seeing concerns around lockdown. The California governor there, Gavin Newsom, talking about shutting down certain functions, eateries, um, indoor dining areas and various factors. And I think the market's been quite happy to shun uh, the coronavirus situation as long as there wasn't concerns around lockdowns. And I think that dynamic has changed somewhat as well overnight. Been concerns around what we're seeing in the oil market. The oil market's down about 2%. People are looking at the OPEC meeting this week and suggesting we're going to see a, a tapering of the output cuts as well. And as you go into FX markets, you've seen uh, you know, the dollar working quite well, the Japanese working quite well, and also the euro working well, the expense of what we've been seeing, some of the high carry currencies and the high beta names. So you've been selling in the Aussie, Mexico, can pay say the Brazilian Real. But a de risking playing through, and we're going to see a slightly weaker open, as I say, and coming through in the Asian markets today. Continue to watch what's happening in high growth, high momentum. Has this got further to fall?